YouTube, in today's video, I'm gonna show you Steven versus Milano. Milano called me out on stream. Milano said, Steven, you're washed. I'm gonna wash you. Back to Toronto. Let's go. This video is gonna be my beautiful Manadium deck. Handcrafted by the pen god himself with nemesis cards. against Milano's very special deck himself. So let's get straight into this video. Before we do, uh, tomorrow, literally today, in about five hours at 5 p.m. Eastern time, at 5 p.m. Eastern time, I'm doing a Manadian Masterclass today. Friday's your last chance. If you wanna get in, your last chance to get in. I, I, if it's still in the site, I don't know. Check, there's probably a few more slots left. It's $40, three hours long. I explain all my tips and tricks on Manadium. Sign up on the website. It's 5 to 8 p.m. Eastern time, Friday night, December 1st. First of the month. First of you being actually good at Yu-Gi-Oh. Because you probably because you probably suck. All right, let's go. So I'm going to show you guys my deck list first, and then Milano's, and let's get to the duels. We'll start with my beautiful deck here. Oh, if you guys saw my deck list, I won the case tournament with yesterday. It is extremely similar. I opted to this to try out Dark Access Code and uh put back excel synchro instead of a, a second sp and a third astral out uh i literally missed the second sp multiple times in this third astral out i don't think i missed as much uh but dark and access code i also missed through like whenever i sided out for typhon i also slide typhon in this if you guys saw my other video i posted yesterday on a description on this video on this deck it's close slightly different but close absolutely beautiful though sexiest thing i've ever seen in my life after brazilian girls oh my goodness now i'm gonna show you guys milano's deck that's right milano's playing some sauce today milano has runic bestial cartesia quem new deck very cool extra deck writing these five running a decent synchro package it is a synchro runic deck and signing into infinite hand traps uh very cool very cool let's see who wins let's see who ends up on top who do you guys think is gonna win i already know the answer obviously because i literally played but let's get into it we'll be playing three matches best of three so you guys are in for a good one here i'm gonna win i know but i also don't know what his deck does i see runix and i'm like what a shitter milano's really gonna hop on my stream fuck shit and then be and uh come duel and then really play runic i'm like yo ugly but then i see this i'm like not so ugly actually kind of hot uh very cool deck here because he's able to do synchro climbing and trigger runic fountain multiple times coral dragon draws it's actually a very cool deck get end phase search off that just so you guys see his hand now so i'm going to be dealing with ash blossom druid worm uh freezing curses flashing fire baron that's five interruptions and on top of that he's going to be drawing twice so probably six this is six interruptions here so i start off with fenrir off the top the search he then opts to make the big play here on the fenrir what's he gonna do so i go calarium and he ashes the calarium the reason i do this before fenrir is to play around droll and now this gives me an opportunity to trigger fenrir's banish and i do have right soth which will then later allow me if he did bear in my fenrir for example we can later right soth into fenrir to then fenrir sort of scare kashira to continue playing so at this point i go fenrir target baron this might have been an error if i want fenrir target runic fountain this would then potentially trigger a, a baron or a, a runic speller trap which i could have then chained econ to take the baron so i should have fenrir runic fountain because if he uses a runic as he literally does right now he's gonna go freezing curses if i went fenrir on the fountain and then chain econ i would have take the baron or he would have wasted the baron interruption yeah i would have got rid of the fountain got rid of the freezing curses and i literally would destroy him in the druid worm that little minute detail i was not scared of the runic fountain knowing my hand was cracked i just wanted to get the baron off the field here because i know that hey runic doesn't have a battle phase so all i have to do is get his cards off the field i would later on sp runic fountain in my mind and then i would still have full board and full interruptions uh but i wanted the baron off the field even though i knew i was going to econ so I, I think that might have been a mistake here because i could have banished the fountain and take the the baron but so th that was a little error on my end because now it still allows him to have a fountain uh i'm gonna go straight into fenrir over here and then my fenrir 
gonna get hit with the special with this so that i just i could have stopped that entirely very sad well let's see what he gets here so sadly of course being a runic gamer that milano is he draws runic tip this is horrible for me because then my like phobia won't be able to be used so that minute detail if i could have just hit the fountain instead of baron i would have cleared all of it but also i didn't know he was going to use it's not like i have knowledge of his hand that he has a runic uh, inter, uh monster negation so it's also the two two ends of the sword because if he did negate it with baron uh that would have been better for me to just banish it with the uh, econ or save it so uh next so he does a runic destruction here uh i'll have to play accordingly my next play here is going to be rhoda so I, i'm really trying to big brain him keep in mind that i cannot room heart with right cart because right soth gains uh gives right cart 100 attack points so i'm thinking about this next level so i go light heart into right phobia okay uh i really think about this deep i'm like okay if i set right phobia and then go arrival into right heart i could then room heart destroy right heart because it's set room heart get meek i can then special meek i can continue playing and if he were to pop my right phobia with runic, uh, a later down the line sp the fountain and if he runic destruction on the right saw on the set right phobia it's fine because if he does it on the set right phobia i could just activate and i could search light with lightheart again because not once per turn and then use right phobia again uh because i didn't actually use it the first time so i do the same thing i set it and then he fucking druid worms my my right heart and i was so mad uh i'm like i was so pissed i was so close to win <sighs> one interruption too many and i literally could have won through six interruptions that was a bozo play but that's why they play best two of threes right so here i'm going first i am playing around droll this is why i'm putting in the rumor cannon you go to rumor cannon on the runic at the top and they're cooked so i'm just waiting to see what he's gonna do i go terraforming into right soth no droll right soth into fenrir his option here to calarium first i i decide if i want a calarium or or, or use a uh, kashtira i decide to save the calarium so i could potentially get the pop later he phantasmes uh with the light on on light heart i have a scenario i wanted to use the phantasm for him to go uh neg one in his hand but i wanted to stay on field just in case i didn't want my friend to die so i'm like screw it search right phobia i'm gonna go thrust into talents here under five summons nice nibiru my friend see you later so now i know all his hand he has a bis deal he has uh a, he has a really good hand here two really good runics and a cartacea no problem at all my friend so what we're gonna do here is go to calarium now uh i could have reich phobia before because if i went reich phobia uh i could have had a calarium staying on the field but i figure that it'll be better to have reich phobia for the grind game against his deck uh rather than getting a free summon because i'm already gonna have a decent amount of interrupts you're also gonna notice that i do not go for vice to star frost i do not want to get obliterated by a bestial so there's scenarios where it's better to even not go for the uh vices uh in scenarios like this so i could have got a draw uh, or I, I know I could have Baron as well, but there's so many lines you can do that I'm like, let's just keep it. I instead decide to go for Banshee. I want to kind of see what Banshee could give me. Uh, the thought could have been had that if I went for the, the six into the eight, might have been better, but this is just better for me. I do a make a misplay again here, but this round one, I was a little bit like, like not focusing so it's very important to focus on your duels i was not focusing too much on this duel and what i should have done is trigger nemesis flag in escados first calling dragon because i knew he had magnuma and then arrived but it's not a big deal because the end board i knew what i was doing the end board here wouldn't matter too much i go flag into escados at this point i go into sp little knight uh banishing the arrival for later summon out escados uh i pop i call fairy because uh all most of the runics are fairies but against his deck escados doesn't do too much escados is a lot better against the top five meta decks not so much his deck so he goes regain and tip here not the best scenario for me and i'm really i make a big misplay again there's a three misplays again three misplays is not okay you should not be doing three misplays ever but against a deck like his you don't really know a lot of interactions so it's important to check these interactions and never make these misplays again none of these misplays are minor they're big brain misplays that are uh, some wouldn't consider misplays but they do lead to misplay these minute details are extremely important and you got to be hard on yourself for these misplays 
one one of them here is regain with sp so i wanted my escados to survive the following turn because the nature of his deck as long as escados survives I'm, I'm fine and i sp a little early with the regain i should have waited for him to use some form of monster effect to fenrir the regain and then sp escados because now you can just put back the sp which is fine because i guess remake it again in this version i am only playing one so it's still fine uh so he's gonna go druid worm i then opt to to banish his freezing curses and then i recognize the scenario i'm like i, I did make some mistakes but the daruma cannon so let, let it go so instead of banishing the regain i decided to banish the field spell the daruma cannon will then allow my friend to resolve uh giving him no play does have a draw this is a cool play that he, he can't summon a fairy so just summon anything else instead uh ends up into gragnol cannot pronounce that card yet and because as a face down card they're still treated as special summoned he's still able to trigger the cartacea and the lubelion and uh, still send my fenrir so it was nice how he got to that point uh he ends up with sp the regain and this so this is my scenario in this scenario i must win the game there's no way i lose this i know the card in his hand cartacea there's no runic stuff coming up all i gotta do is get rid of the regain and he has one sp so i start doing some math can i kill him uh what should i do to actually go for game uh go for calarium there's a thought where i could have go escados enter battle attack sp but i knew right away that if he goes sp i'm just chaining my sp so it's and i just go for game so it's fine if you also check my grave uh he did banish some things as well and i banished some things so we don't have too much so there's a few options here not great ones i'm like you know what let's just enter battle attack i'm gonna go room heart here additionally i cannot summon meek because i have a meek in the graveyard so room heart into meek is not the best play per se uh he does summon out the druid worm which is which is fine i get abscission uh abscission uh, uh, i have a decision here if i want to use it or not but i do think typhon could put in some value i go estados escados calling dragon uh, i could have called escados dragon beforehand but it, it doesn't matter at all because he's gonna go druid worm target something and i'm just gonna sp it right away and this is where i make the mistake it wasn't on his turn it was on this scenario right now so if i went escados right off the bat and not allow the dragon to come out it wasn't last turn that was a misplay it was this turn that was a misplay where i go escados uh call dragon he can't even bring this out so i don't i'm not forced to sp but i figured with every druid worms i'll just sp bring back anyways and then because the room heart's left on field i can now obsession it and then summon my fenrir so it was my plan all along to free up my zone to summon fenrir to the field but then it plays into the sp so that was kind of bozo like from me but it's fine i get calarian for follow-up and i summon fenrir to get another fenrir i'm gonna have fenrir escados uh i as, as and then he goes sir he top decks a runic tip bro actually fucking monumental error bro but if you top deck tip in this scenario this is a downside uh i sided out some stuff as well to not be able to go for game and then he draws into this so there's no way to win that it's okay we're at match two now i'll get my revenge milano played really well there match two now and we're gonna fast forward the rest of the way to do it quick but the, now I know his deck very well. So I'm going to play accordingly. I had no idea what his deck was doing or the strategy of the deck. I thought he was out of gas. I had no idea what his deck does. Now I have a decent idea. So it, it's important to always learn lessons as you duel. So here in this scenario, I'm going to go for the maximum plus possible. As mentioned in my video, you're going to notice I go for imaginings here in Rank Phobia. Do I search for right card? Yes. But in this scenario, you have to do math like this. Right card will get you a draw. Visa Starfrost will get you a draw. By getting right cart, you're guaranteed to draw anyways versus two draws, right? And one you have to put back. But at least the right cart, you're guaranteed to arrive, you're guaranteed to draw. And the draw, you have like what? 10 Manadiums and Vices cards. So there's actually a high chance that at a 29, you're going to draw a Manadium. And I search arrival, of course, I get Manadium. I literally called it too. Put back the arrival for better follow up. Set up a Baron. And this is just, you guys should be used to this play at this point. Uh, I do some, I did some sorrow already, so I cannot some sorrow again. Uh, we recognize this already. We're just we're proving a point something on stream. How we had an option to go blind banshee, but blind banshee is, is not a good play if it's blind. Of course, I know what I'm playing, but in an actual game one, you don't know what you're playing. I do I use imaginings a lot. So if you notice there, <clears throat> I made right card a tuner with imaginings. Uh, that's important. I go SP banish astrolab. That way we could end up having uh, two astrolabs back into the deck and already an astrolab in grave. So we end our turn with Baron, Dispatter, SP, Fenrir, Econ. Additionally, we're going to still have uh, uh, Astrolad and Grave ready to go. Four cards in hand. And we're going to put back this Astrolad as soon as humanly possible. So this game is now unlosable. 
uh milano recognizes it and it's really his only play to go straight to typhon i'm totally cool with this but i do want my sp to survive i had a scenario to put, put scare cash i didn't want to econ take the typhon and this way i'm going to sp the typhon to make sure that both my my baron and the spider can use their effects now can't even summon this by the way so he's going to be putting it back and uh the, the, there's nothing you can do in this scenario it's an absolute loss uh he's still in the in the battle phase he decides to, to tip he's gonna get fountain this doesn't matter you go regain fountain slumber this is totally irrelevant to me he just decides to pass because there's nothing he can do right right away he uses a runic to try to draw i put this back i negate and the regained he's gonna draw some cards but in this scenario you can't you cannot win it's impossible with this many cards in my hand with what he has so all i'm gonna do now at this point is just set up so he opts to pop it stand by i want to put baron back so i can resummon it fenrir fenrir effect this is almost unlosable at this point almost unlosable at this point i put lightheart out didn't use it last turn get a right phobia and at this point I, I in case he does have a nib i want to save as many cards in my hand as humanly possible in case he has it so i go into the baron now baron to pop the fountain he goes freezing curses are to use baron effect this turn opt not to use it scare cash this is just easy game uh he's gonna go ball drake eventually i special right card get free plus by setting right phobia pop fountain he's forced to activate destruction to, to summon doesn't matter this is just game at this point venue to banish and then this is just game i get some free pluses before uh i i go for game i put room heart and attack instead of defense as enter battle uh this will be exactly eight thousand through the ball drake and he does lose 200 to attack so now we're gonna go to game number two too easy well to be fair uh we are playing the best deck and milano's playing a really cool deck i, I do think i should have win game uh round match one as well but uh that's what happens sometimes when you make some errors uh it's deserved uh so he's gonna open the full setup what he has i want you guys to count how many interruptions we're gonna be dealing with here this will be uh the classic board milano likes to set up and he's gonna be drawing an absurd amount it's a very cool deck like you're getting so all these pluses for free and you always get free value any draw in this deck is a lot of value it's baron he has soren here he sees a line here where you could get uh, another sp on top additionally so if you look at this he has sp baron runic destruction then he's gonna have draw three draw two so let's see what he can get from those draw two so he's gonna runic destruction on the right soth and rightfully so also he doesn't want to get the draws asap so he has three interruptions confirmed what are the draws he gets insane bro uh well this he just used but runic slumber is actually really good against my deck runic slumber counts as an interruption because i can't pop with room heart or vices which is which is hilarious so i go right cart right off the bat when you guys to see this play okay it's very important i go right cart and he chains sp i chain room heart he chains baron he's got that play there this is exactly what he should be doing the reason why is now there's no card in my graveyard the reason why this is semi okay for us is right card still resolves we now go right phobia into scare cash Dira, which you're playing because you're playing fenrir right you then special scare cash from hand and you're still able to play despite the fact that you're locked out of your summons and already used room heart so now he does have slumber and slumber is a great card in this scenario i go light heart to get a follow-up this is a great scenario for him because if i go now if i go vice star i need vices and grave to start triggering off uh my vanadiums right so he goes slumber well he doesn't slumber i would have slumbered that because if you if he slumbered the vice stays in my hand so that was uh, he definitely should have done that in my opinion but he's probably trying to save as many runic cards as humanly possible for his turn but that would have uh stopped me in my tracks right there my only play at that point would have been sp the baron and that's it so i go vices into light heart i actually put up this is a big brain play i put two light heart on the spot the reason why is uh, i know he plays bestials clearly you could see it where if i went straight into like a cross sheep for example or a link two or like let's say i went to sp i want sp to banish runic fountain you with me if i if i went into sp banish runic fountain and then on the resolution i go astral run the resolution he'll bestial banish my vices so i will not be able to astral out but by putting in two light heart this now gives me the opportunity to if I, if he does bestial me i could at least sp the baron which you need to sp the baron in this scenario so at least gives me that scenario to uh, be allowed to do that he does not have a best deal so i opt to go straight into the astrolot astrolot to hit the baron in this scenario he opts to protect his baron which is fine with me because i could just enter battle and kill it 
Astrolaud also cannot be destroyed by battle, which is a great thing. We go SP Little Knight uh, to banish that. Baron cannot be destroyed by battle, so I don't need to go Scareclaw Arrival here, but I still do. Uh, and I could just enter the battle and attack. It won't be destroyed by battle, and he'll be destroyed. It'll be all good. I can't attack directly, but I did want the Scarecrow Stira anyways in my hand instead of Scareclaw Arrival because I knew I was going to go Typhon. Typhon will then bounce the Scare Cash, and I don't expect this Typhon to survive anyways, but Typhon's better than Astrolot in this scenario. So we're left off in the scenario. We cleared through all of his interrupts. We have SP, Typhon, and I want his Scare Cash in hand because it allows a lot to stay in my hand. So now his SP comes back, and now this is where a beautiful grind game starts. I recognize that one Runic Fountain's gone. So now, I also recognize Gary is gone. So all I know now, all I have to do is get rid of this one Runic Fountain, and his grind game is, is going to go straight to shit. And I, I use the, my SP ASAP. Uh, I'm good in this scenario. He also cannot go into Baron. The Typhon does hurt him. So he's forced to actually do his own Typhon, which is music to my ears. So now, we have SP... Right cart and this scenario. He has a whole board, but keep in mind he has five cards in his extra deck. And as soon as this fountain's gone, he's, he's done with fountains. I go scare cash, right phobia pop to fountain. Instantly, when I saw that, I thought that was game in my mind. I opt to wait one second because I'm out of Vice's Star Frost. So I'm going to Nemesis Flag, put back the Vice's Star Frost in my deck because he banished a lot of stuff. I have no more left, and I need a Vice's Star Frost to make another Astrolaud. So I decided to wait on the right phobia. I search a Skados. Uh, I'm I am trying to play around nib here. I, I do know like there's a scenario. He might have nib I opt to special devices and at this point I go straight to uh, Baron The reason why I go into Baron is I can't trigger it under the Typhon. He can't even Typhon actually with the, the With this and now by entering battle, I could just clear all the problems I go Astral with no effect. I could clear all the problems now He opts to use this in scare cash, which is fine And now I'm simply just gonna enter battle kill this and in main phase two, I could use my Baron to pop anything I like. And I save the Skadals for the, for the last. He goes Nibiru. And I decide, you know what? I don't even care. Let's just get rid of these to come back. Because now, look at this scenario. We have all these coming back. His SP is gone. He has three cards in his extra deck. He has no Runic Fountain. He has no Gary. This scenario of a, a Baron with effect and Nibiru is at 2800 attack is unlosable. So I decided to just, rather than negating the Nibiru... Uh, to just uh, set it up like this. I'm letting him get some pluses because it doesn't give much value to him. I let him enter battle phase. doesn't give any value to him. Uh, I just I even have a scenario here. If I destroy this, he has no more follow-up at all. I Baron destroy. And then next time he activates a, any effect, I go SP on the Baron. On the end phase, he adds back with Blazing Cartesia. So I chain SP to banish the Baron. Uh, and then he scoops because he can't win. Now uh, match three. This is going to be a long video, but it's an absolute incredible duels you guys are going to be getting. And who's going to win this final one? This is this is the big one uh, for all the marbles right here. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys, it does go to a game three. Game one was amazing. Game two was amazing. Now game three, who's going to win? This is match three, game three. I go first. And what do I do? I go light heart. Look at this. Look at this. I could play around Droll so easy, but I saw no Droll in, what, four games, six games, I saw no Droll, so I don't play around Droll here. The stupidest error, I always play around Droll, but in this scenario, I just for some reason decided not to. And this is a lesson here I want to show you guys. Even if you don't see Droll from your opponent, always play around it. Always. I could have end with this board, with this hand. I could have very much easily ended on four interrupts through Droll. But I just decided that I thought Milano wasn't playing it. He also sided so quick. I thought he wasn't even siding. So never take that for granted. It was an amazing match. But due to the Droll, we did lose this game. Amazing match. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As you guys saw earlier, the deck list. This was an incredible three matches. Shout out to Milano. Go check out his profile down below. Absolutely amazing. If you guys do want to see more tips from Vanadium, we do have a three-hour class tonight, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern time. I don't think I'll do these again, but it's really cool. Uh, last time I checked, there was 35 entries uh, with the exception of people that entered yesterday. So probably 30 people entered yesterday. So I'd say there's probably going to be about 50, 65. 20 of them are going to get the recording after. You guys will probably be with 40 like-minded Manadian players. So come check it out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Go check out Milano's channel. See you guys next video. Peace.